Well, hello there, wonderful people. My name is Christina and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you probably know, I've been growing my nails for a little bit more than five years. And that's why people ask me all the time, why the fuck did you do that? And today I'm going to answer that question. So yeah, I'm going to tell you about my nail journey and the story of my nails or how I got into nail art and stuff like that. So yeah. But before we start, I wanted to thank you so, so much for the feedback on my last YouTube video. Reading your comments just made me so happy and I just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. Because I have long nails, many people assume that my mom or one of my family members also has long nails, but that's not the case. I'm the only one in my family and no one in my family inspired me or influenced me to have long nails. My mom, for example, she only wears clear nail polish or like pink nail polish and always has short nails. When I was growing up and I was in my early teenage years, I was just like her and I didn't have long nails and I always wore, if I wore nail polish, I wore clear nail polish or a light pink nail polish. And nail polish wasn't anything I was into at all. I mean, it was just nothing for me. I remember when I was shopping with my mom and we saw nail polish, uh, we always used to joke about the crazy, crazy colors they had. Like, I remember, for example, I think it was this exact one. We used to joke about like, ooh, why would anyone put that on their nails? That's so ugly and it just looks like your nails are dirty and stuff like that. And now I have this exact color and I love it. <laughs> um, and when I was in school, my best friend Angela, she always wore nail polish. She had short nails, but she just loved nail polish and was obsessed with it. And I just didn't understand and I thought, why? So like I said, she always wore nail polish and I didn't wear nail polish at all and I didn't understand why she just why she just can't leave her nails bare and natural basically. And I remember that one day I challenged her to go one week without any nail polish and if she managed to do so, I would give her my entire nail polish collection which consisted of two bottles back then. A light baby blue and a light pink. And yeah, that was just all I had. She managed to go one week without nail polish and so I gave it to her. But like, it's crazy how the tables have turned. Now today I'm the nail polish obsessed crazy person and she's the one who just prefers to go without any nail polish. And then the first contact I had with long nails myself was in was on Halloween 2010, I think. Me and my friend, we, uh, we went shopping and we wanted to have a cool costume for our Halloween party at school. And so we decided to buy some French press-on nails. And they were pretty short compared to my length now. And we decided to paint them black and it would give us that witchy look. So yeah, we bought them and they came with a they came in a pack of two pairs. So when we went to a house, we couldn't resist but try one of the sets out. And we put them on and we we, we felt like boss ass bitches. <laughs> yeah, we just put them on and we were like how do people live with them? How can they do anything? They just blew our minds. <laughs> and we tried to pick up coins and stuff like that and do things around the house. And we were like, no, no, no. How is this possible? This is magic. <laughs> and we were just so confused by how people can live a life with long nails. But we did feel but we did feel like boss ass bitches and it was a great feeling. <laughs> so on Halloween we put on the outer set and we painted them black. And I felt like a boss ass bitch again. Even more like a boss ass bitch than with the French nails. 
because now they were black and I looked like a witch and I just felt like I had the best Halloween costume that was on the planet. <laughs> and yeah, that was the first time I put on fake nails and the only time I put on fake nails. So I took them off the same evening on Halloween, but I kept them in a little box because I thought that feeling of having long nails was like weird, but also it just looked so cool. And sometimes I just took them out of the box and put them on again and I just felt great. <laughs> yeah, but only for like five minutes or so and just looked at my hands and felt like, yes. It was just French tips, so I thought they looked really cool because they looked so clean and neat and yeah, but I still didn't like any crazy nail polish colors or nail art or something like that. The first time I had contact with nail art was, I think it was in 2012, when I was at my um, friend's house, at Angela's house, and she was like, oh my god, I saw this cool nail art design online and you can just paint a panda on your nails. And I was like, you can paint a panda on your nails? Holy shit. And she tried it out on my nails. It didn't really look like in the video because we didn't have any of the tools or something that uh, were required. But I'll see if I can find the video and I'll just um, put a picture of it right here. But it didn't look that great, but I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. But then my mom came to take me home and she couldn't finish the design. She just painted it on one nail. And the next day I went to the drugstore and I got white and black nail polish and I tried to recreate it again. And I searched out the YouTube video and then I fell into this rabbit hole of nail art and I was just like, holy f***ing shit, you can paint stuff on your nails that's f***ing dope. And I just, my mind was blown. <laughs> It was just so amazing to me and that was just so cool and I thought yeah I'm gonna do that but then I tried to do that panda nail art design and it just looked like shit. <laughs> so I gave up and just thought no nail art maybe it's not for me because I didn't have any nail polish I could do the stuff with and no tools at all so yeah I gave up then it was September 28th, my birthday. Mark the date. I'm <laughs> oh, just kidding. And my friend Isabel gave me um, like some cosmetic stuff for my birthday. I still have it. She gave me th this bag and a bunch of other stuff. And in that bag she put the nail polish colors that matched the outside. Oh. And when I got the present, I just thought, yay, nail polish. And I thought like, what am I going to do with it? I know exactly that I'm not going to paint my nails like ever. <laughs> and yeah, I was just like, meh, nail polish. But yeah, then it was 20, then it was 2014. And I think it was the weekend before Valentine's Day. And at our school we have a tradition that Valentine's Day is also overdress day where, as the name says, everyone shows up to school just completely overdressed. And um, so I just had a self-care day basically. I put on a face mask and like... Yeah, that was basically it. <laughs> and a hair mask. And I put on a hair mask and a face mask. and. I put on nail polish and if I put on nail polish back then I really wanted to impress you because nail polish, putting on nail polish, polish was just like the most self-care thing that you can possibly do and yeah I did it for the overdress day I painted them and I painted them with this exact same color that Isabel gave me for my 13th birthday. <laughs> and I remember seeing some nail art gurus on Instagram or on the internet and I saw that they always had like the ring fingernail 
paint it with a slightly different nail polish like with the glitter coat on top kind of as an accent nail and yeah I just painted my nails with this one and then I put like a glitter top coat on my ring finger nail and I was like fuck yeah I'm a nail artist then I kind of fell into this rabbit hole again with nail art and nail polish on the internet and stuff like that and I thought hmm my nails would look more like the pictures on the internet if they were a little bit longer so I let them grow a little bit but like just a little bit <laughs> then people started complimenting me and said how good my nails would look and yeah then I kept on painting them and I also got into nail art like not very not very not very complicated nail art but just some um, sponge ombre designs and stuff like that or just putting on a glitter top coat on the ring finger nail it was nail art for me back then <laughs> and yeah I just started to getting more and more into nail polish and yeah so my nail polish collection grew and grew 2014 was also the year when I really got into Lana Del Rey's music and as you probably know Lana Del Rey always has long and beautiful nails or at least she had in her in her older videos very long and beautiful nails and when I watched her videos I mean she she's such a beautiful woman with such an amazing voice and yeah just when I watched her videos I just I wanted to look like her <laughs> because she's so beautiful and also her nails were so beautiful they looked so feminine and so elegant and um, I think she's one of the reasons why I grew my nails because I wanted to look like her also Amy Winehouse for example in some videos she has long red nails too and I thought they, were, they looked so beautiful and I decided that I wanted to have them too they just inspired me and then later I got into Gwen Stefani's music she also has long and beautiful nails and yeah that would really really inspired me I don't know if you know uh, Lady Gaga's music video for Bloody Mary uh, it's a really cool song check it out <laughs> and in the music video Lady Gaga has really 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 long nails they are painted red and they look so scary and I really love Halloween it's one of my favorite holidays and I just love witches and scary things and stuff like that and that's why I I also love long nails I guess because yeah people sometimes say to me you look like a witch with those nails but I'm like thanks I'm going for that look and I, I love that look I mean it just looks so cool like all the scary spooky things I'm really into that and um, yeah like I said in Lady Gaga's music video she has those long claws and back then when I watched a music video for the first time I think it was in 2013 I was like Whoa, holy shit I was like what the fuck but then I also was like hell yeah I mean I thought what the fuck but I also thought that looks so cool I mean it looks so scary and that makes it look so cool <laughs> so yeah back then my biggest inspiration was Lana Del Rey's nails probably it is Lady Gaga's nails in her music video today but yeah are they the same length yet I don't know you tell me I remember that when my nails were approximately this length people started complimenting me even more so the longer they got the more compliments I received from the people and that just made me so happy because you know puberty is a pretty rough time for everyone I think and yeah so it was for me I had a very low self-esteem and I was not very confident so like just receiving those compliments just boosted my self-esteem a little bit because I felt like I was the ugliest person on earth when I was in 
during my puberty. And yeah, that just made me feel a little bit better. The main reason I kept drawing them is because I thought uh, the cool designs on the internet looked so uh, great and I wanted to look like the nail models I saw on Instagram. And I just really started getting into nail art and I love painting my nails. Then it was the 1st of August 2014 and I had been growing my nails for like I don't even know I think I've I've cut them in between like February and August but anyway the 1st of August 2014 was the first day of summer vacation and I thought that this would be a good time to cut them and let them grow over the summer holidays so they could look healthy and fresh for ninth grade and yeah I cut them and I didn't wear nail polish for the six weeks of summer holidays so they would look good when I started school again and I was like really proud of my nails and the nail art I did if you can call it even nail art <laughs> yeah but I didn't wear any nail hardeners or fancy stuff like that back then I just used a clear top coat because people on YouTube said always use did I say top coat I meant base coat <laughs> because people on YouTube said always make sure to use a base coat so I just used clear nail polish I never had a problem with my nails breaking or brittle nails or anything like that so it was not a big deal for me to grow them yeah like I said people were really impressed by the length and then when I started ninth grade I started growing them again and I didn't really have a plan or anything like that. I just wanted to let them grow a little bit, you know, just a little bit. A little bit longer so I could do more nail art. And my goal back then was to reach uh, the winter holidays. But then the winter holidays came and I thought, no, nah, I'm not gonna cut them. So I didn't cut them on Christmas and time went on and I thought, I'm gonna cut them next vacation, which was in February. But I thought, mm, I like them so much and I enjoy doing nail art so much. And then I thought, no, I'm not gonna cut them. And like, the thing went on with the next and next holidays. But then I thought, you know what, this summer holidays, I'm gonna cut them again. Because I've been growing them for a year and then it's time. But, you know, like I said, the longer they grew, the more compliments I received. And for me, with the low self-esteem, it was just like a wonderful thing. Because, like I said, I felt like the ugliest person in the world. And, I mean, I wasn't bullied or anything at school. I loved going to school, actually. I loved my, my class, my classmates and my teachers and... Going to school was fun, basically, but I was still afraid of, you know, being made fun of because I was ugly, because I felt ugly and all my friends were just so beautiful and that made me feel even more ugly, even though they said you look pretty and stuff like that and I don't know where it came from, but I mean, I guess it was just puberty. I always used to paint them Saturday evening from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. My favorite crime show was on back then. And yeah, I took those two hours to do all the nail care stuff, which wasn't very much back then, but also to do my nail art designs. Yeah, so I painted them once a week. You know, I would lie if I said that I didn't like the compliments and the attention. I think everyone does. Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons that that's one of the reasons why I kept growing them but at least for like the first or second year of growing them you know I mean and the longer they grew the more it became my what is Markenzeichen in English? I'll look the word up and put it here <laughs> so the longer they got the more I became known as the girl with long nails and it was just and they were just becoming a part of me and a part of myself and my identity 
the teachers, uh, my uh, my classmates, didn't have a problem with it at all. I mean, they weren't they weren't that long back in um, 2015, but you know, as time went on, they were also okay with it. We don't have a dress code in German schools. You can basically go to school in a bikini, and everyone would be like, okay. <laughs> So the teachers were okay with my nails and so were my classmates, they supported me and yeah, that just made me so happy. But I remember one teacher, um, it was in ninth grade, she was my biology teacher and my nails weren't that long back then. And one day we were just joking around in class, you know, and a classmate, he gave me his glasses to see what I would look like with them on. And I put them on and the teacher said oh at least you look a little bit more intelligent with those glasses on and I was like okay thanks I look intelligent thank you <laughs> but then she went on and she said you look like secretary with long nails and those glasses on and I was like okay thanks <laughs> uh, but then she said you know you look like you only do things with your mouth instead of your hands, just like you never use your hands at all. And I was like... Like, I just didn't understand what she meant and... It took me four years to understand what she said to me. I do things with my mouth instead of my hands? Excuse me, bitch! Like I said, it took me a few years to realize what the fuck she had said to me. Seriously, what the f I mean, she was known for being weird and very mean at our school. But I mean, seriously? <laughs> Why? I mean, it doesn't bother me. I just think it's hilarious and ridiculous, but... For real. <laughs> so yeah, back to the timeline. <laughs> it was 2015 and it was summer holidays and... It was like the second week of the summer holidays and I, and I remember that I wanted to cut my nails. But then I thought, no, why? I mean, I like them, they're healthy, I love doing nail art, people love them. Why would I cut them and just... So I kept them and... Back then I've reached a point where I, where I didn't have a particular goal or anything like that. I just wanted to see how long they can get, basically. So they grew longer and longer and just more and more people started to notice and I was just they were just becoming part of my identity and myself and um, yeah I was just known at my school for being the girl with long nails and the nail art girl basically and I was okay with it and yeah then my nails grew and grew and grew and I didn't have any nail breaks until a very dark day of 2016. I think it was June and my middle... I didn't mean to show you... and my middle fingernail broke and yeah there was a horrible day but I'll tell you the story another time because the video is already way too f***ing long so yeah but I fixed the nail break and my nails grew even longer. Then it was April 2017 and uh, a woman commented on my Instagram post that she was a journalist and she wanted to do an interview about my long nails with me. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And she sent me a bunch of interview questions and I replied to them. And I remember that before I uh, sent her my replies, I asked my English teacher, my former English teacher, if she could have a look at the que at uh, my answers and see if I made any grammatical mistakes or anything like that because I didn't want to make a fool of myself <laughs> and I wanted to seem as professional as possible. So shout out to you, Mrs. Yeah, so I sent her the questions and then a few weeks later she published an article about me for um, the sun online and that article blew the hell up <laughs> and I had no idea what influence that article would have on my life or yeah I mean 
it was not just one website that was posting the article, just websites and newspapers all over the world started to copy uh, that article and just publish it again and again and again. And maybe that's how you got to know me too. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, that was 2017. Now it's 2019 and here we are today. I mean, I still haven't cut them or fed them or anything like that. And they, they are still growing. They have been growing since the 1st of August 2014. And that's a pretty long time and a pretty long time of my life. I mean, I'm turning 19 on the 28th of September 2019. Sent me a present. No, I'm just kidding. When I cut my nails last time, I was just 13 years old. So my nails have been with me for such a long period of my life and they became part of myself. And that's why I kept growing them longer and longer. And yeah, you know, a few years ago, I would say I got addicted to growing them and maybe I still am, but you know, you're probably wondering if I will ever cut them. And if I'm completely honest, I will cut them one day. I will definitely cut them one day. But I'll just see how, just see if I like them, and if I don't like them, I cut them. And yeah, one day will be the day, but today's not the day. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. That's the story of my long nails, and I hope I didn't forget anything. And if I forgot, forgot to mention anything, then I'll put it down in the description and yeah if you have any questions comments concerns leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye